Before we start this video, I would request you all to support my channel Adam's Tech Guide by clicking on this red subscribe button right below this video. Once you guys click on this red subscribe button, you will see this bell notification icon right next to it. Please make sure you click on this bell notification icon and click on this all in order to get the notifications and the updates for my future videos. And last but not least, if you guys like my videos, please click on this thumbs up button to show me your love. Hey guys, Shabazz here from Adam's Tech Guide. So today's video is one of the requested video. I have received a lot of questions on this. Uh, recently, I've made a video on how to install Windows operating system on your computer using your Android device. Now, I've received lots of comments on that video asking me if you do not have a working Windows operating system. So without using a computer, how come you make a bootable flash drive uh, for Windows operating system because in that process we have used a working uh, Windows operating system and we have made a bootable Android phone to install Windows onto a computer using a Windows operating system now this is going to be a very useful video for most of you all because uh, you know techie like us we always used to encounter these kind of issue if we do not have a backup computer with us and if something or the other happens with our windows operating system we do not have access to our windows machine to uh, you know download an image file and make a bootable flash drive out of it what we can do is we can use our android phone and we can make a bootable windows flash drive and then use that flash drive to install windows on your computer now there are a few requirements for this you need to have an otg cable which will help you to connect your flash drive to your phone you need to format your flash drive into fat32 format because the software which we will be using for this video the application which we will be using for this video to make a bootable flash drive that application recognizes only fat32 formatted flash drive make sure you install a tool in your android phone first which will help you to format your flash drive into fat32 format once your flash drive is formatted into fat32 you can then connect uh, your flash drive using an OTG cable and then proceed further with this process. So yes guys, enough of the talking already, without wasting any further ado, let's get started with the video. So guys, let's start the video. This is the phone which we will be using for our today's video. The reason why I use this phone most of the time because this has got stock Android in it and I just want things to be simple in my video. I want clean Android operating system and this is the one. I have the USB OTG cable with me. I've also connected a flash drive on it. But first off, we'll have to go to Play Store and install an application called ISO to USB. So I'll go to Play Store and I'll type in ISO to USB and search for it. This is the application which you need to install in your phone. Once the application gets installed, you'll have to open the application. And this is the home page of the application. This is how it looks like. It will give you a lot of advertisement as well. So I'll go to home. Now I'll connect my USB OTG cable to my phone. Just to let you all know, I have already formatted my flash drive into FAT32 format. Uh, and I have also connected the flash drive to the USB OTG cable. I'm going to connect it to my phone now. Once I connect it, it will give me the message on the screen, ISO to USB. This application will by default detect a USB flash drive which is connected to my phone. I'm gonna press OK and that will probably open the application ISO to USB. Once this application opens, you will get few options on the screen. The first option is to pick up the USB flash drive. I'll click on pick and I'll select my USB flash drive which is Sony storage media. Now. Second option is asking me to select an image file for Windows. So I will go to pick and I'll go to download and I'll select the image file for Windows 10 operating system since I'm making a bootable flash drive for Windows 10 Pro 64 bit. I'll click on OK and I'll also check this box which says format USB. I'm going to repeat the prerequisites, the requirement for this process. Uh, you need to have a USB which is more than uh, you know 4 GB and you also have to format the USB into FAT32 format because this software, this application detects a USB which is formatted using a FAT32 format. Uh, if you have the flash drive which is uh, uh, you know formatted into NTFS format, it will not uh, detect the flash drive. It will give you a message, an error message on the application that this software requires FAT32 formatted flash drive. So make sure you have uh, formatted your flash drive into 
FAT32 format. There will be an application in Android. Go to Play Store and install the application FAT32 formatter. You can format your flash drive, bring it to the compatible format, then connect your flash drive to this application and try, uh, you know, going further with this process. Now, uh, there is one more requirement for this. Uh, this application require an image file of Windows which is not more than 4 GB. Now if you have an ISO image file which is uh, customized, which has got lots of uh, additional drivers package in it, uh, because you know you get a lot of uh, Windows image files which comes pre-installed with a lot of additional software and the size of that image file is more than 4 GB. In that case, just to let you all know, this for software will not be able to uh, make a bootable flash drive with the image file which exceeds the size limit of 4 GB. Make sure you are using the standard Windows 10 Pro 64-bit uh, image file which is uh, uh, somewhat around 3.42 GB or 3.50 GB or something like that. Now I'm going to press start to start the process. It will give me the warning that the data on the flash drive will be formatted. I'm going to select OK and this will probably start the process of writing an image file onto my flash drive. Now once the process completes, our flash drive will be ready and we will connect the flash drive to our computer and check if we are able to boot from this flash drive. So I'm going to pause the video right here and I will resume the video once the process gets completed. So the phone has completed the writing process. It has completed till 100% as you guys can see right here. Now our flash drive is ready to use. Uh, I'm going to disconnect the flash drive from a phone. Now I'll connect this flash drive to the computer and see if we are able to boot from the flash drive and try installing the Windows operating system. I will not install the Windows operating system but we will certainly check if we are able to get inside the Windows 10 installer and select a partition to install Windows from it. Now let's turn the camera towards my monitor and see if we are able to boot from the flash drive. So this is the screen of my computer. I am into the BIOS menu. I will restart my computer and I will try booting from my flash drive. I'm going to press Ctrl, Alt and Delete. This time I'm tapping F12 button to go into the boot device selection option. These are the boot devices which are there on my computer. I mean, it seems really confusing but uh, I have to be specific. Uh, when it comes to boot device because I'm searching for a flash drive to boot from this is the one UEFI Sony storage media this is the one which I'm searching for the EFI partition of my flash drive so I'm going to highlight this and I'll press enter so my computer is booting from the flash drive I can see the uh, indicator light from the flash drive is blinking and uh, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed to get an hour logo of Windows 10 here. We'll go to the point wherein my computer will ask me to select a partition to install Windows. So we have got an installer screen. This is a green signal. This means that we have done the needful. Uh, we are able to boot from our flash drive. I'm gonna go next. I'll click on install now. I'm just trying to be on the safer side to check if I am getting a screen which gives me option to install Windows on a specific partition. I'm going to check mark this box and I'll go next. I will go to custom install and this is a point where my computer is giving me the partitions to install Windows. Uh, so guys we are good to go. Uh, I can select any of these partition, click next and this will install Windows on my uh, hard drive or on my computer. So that's it guys, this is how you uh, make a bootable Windows flash drive using your Android phone even if you do not have a working Windows operating system on your computer. If you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions to ask you can write your questions in the comments box. Thanks a lot for being a part of this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.